Hey guys, Anime Night here. Hope you all are doing wonderful on this beautiful Saturday night. Um, we have some news in pertaining to Pokemon. While Japan begins to reject ESG investments, the Pokemon Company International Post job listing for Director of DEI and Social Responsibility. It's sadly confirming that the heralds behind the beloved video game franchise are not among the many Japanese individuals who have found themselves rejecting environmental, social, and governance-based investment sensibilities. A newly posted job listing has revealed that the Pokemon Company International is now seeking a new director of diversity, equity, inclusion, and social responsibility. Per the listing itself, the eventual hire for this position will be tasked with facilitating and promoting the Pokemon Company International's TPCI, the U.S. subsidiary of the larger Jap Japan-based Poke the Pokemon Company, Global Culture of Innovation, Diversity, Equity, Inclusion, and Belonging. Basically, a bunch of bullshit. This role will partner with the diversity, equity, inclusion, and social responsibility team to build diversity, equity, and inclusion, and social responsibility initiatives and programs to influence employee engagement, talent acquisition, talent management, charitable community engagement, and marketplace opportunities across our global team to engage and retain talent and foster relationships in local and global communities. Further explain, TPCI making the most of their corporate speak dictionary. This role will ensure that the core elements of TPCI culture are well defined and ever present to employees, highlighting engagement as essential component to support a positive, diverse, inclusive, innovative and highly achie and high achieving environment this position will report to the vice president and chief diversity equity and inclusion officer lead the deisr team and will partner with stakeholders across the organization and operate as an internal business consultant basically what they're going to be doing is they're going to be going around insulting everybody, forcing all this crap that we're seeing nowadays, do horrendous things to the established um, IP, to the established IP, and basically they're going to take everything that was good and wholesome and make it completely out there and continue to bash the, the consumer by interjecting uh, environmental stuff that's not needed, the political ecosystem, and everything in between that is plaguing the, ga the gaming industry. In addition to the standard position duties, the eventual hire will also find themselves responsible for uh, driving alignment of DEI goals with business strategies for both internal employees, external fans, and the communities we serve. In other words, making sure that DEI remains a focus of not just TPCI's own operations, but their approach to interacting with players and fans. Yeah, we're going to bash you and we're going to make you submit to us. We're going to push this stuff on to you, the fans. And also, if you don't like what we're doing, we're going to take away your job, fire you, and hire people based on on race only. Get rid of all that. You know, the usual, the, the usual stuff. Admittedly and unfortunately, such a position is not uncommon in the modern corporate landscape. It's not even the first such position within TPCI, as evidenced by the job listing specifications that the desired director would be reported to the company's overall chief diversity, equality, and inclusion officer. However, what makes this particular listing newsworthy is the fact that given how it's ostensible, uh, damn it, uh, moving on, Posted with some level of approval from the Pokemon Company proper, it indicates that those in charge of the franchise, as noted above, have yet to join Japanese investors in chasing ESG-related funding sources. 
many if not all of which put the concept of DEI at the center of their application requirements. This, this is highly illegal. This is very illegal. DEI is one of the most legal things out there in the job market. It violates civil rights and everything. As reported by Bloomberg, based on information from research firm Morningstar, investors pulled a total of 660 billion yen, 4.5 billion in USD from funds last year, a total which amounted to more than four times the outflow of 150 billion yen in 2022. The outflow of capital from ESG funds has hammered the industry's growth, they added. According to a Morningstar report, there were no new ESG products launched between October and December of last year. Basically, ESG is the worst thing to happen in gaming, and it does harm the growth. You're trying to build a whole company up and everything. One of the most respected companies out there, I mean, yeah, their games have dwindled here and there, but the core component is that it's marketed towards individuals who love the Pokemon games, the Pokemon card game, everything in between, both kids and adults, like me. The next proper Pokemon tile set for release, Pokemon Legends Z-A, is currently set to release for the Nintendo Switch sometime in 2025. So, in 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 a nutshell, they're going at they're doing the more DEI thing because they see what's going on, and it's like, no, we're going to continue doing this despite the overall backlash going on. On top of that, they're really slimming down the, the Pokemon trainers, mainly the females, by giving them ugly faces, flatline, and no hips or anything. They're taking away the, fem the feministic traits of the Pokemon trainer and importing very outlandish stuff, like what they did with Mary Jane in Spider-Man 2 and also Fable 2. The, the, this ESG DEI stuff, like I mentioned earlier, is a very unconstitutional and also it violates a lot of laws. Companies need to really stick, like, like really need to step up for the fans. We're fans of gaming here to have fun and also battle it out with our Pokemon. We love that world and any other world in the gaming world. We want to preserve all of this for the coming generation. We don't want this crap in there that's that's affected every facet of our entertainment. It's gotten so badly. And I'm glad that Japan is, is rejecting the ESG investments in certain places. But you got other companies like the Pokemon Company and also the companies out here in America embracing this crap. And they wonder why stuff is failing miserably and their go-to is to attack the fans. That's always been the agenda of these people. They hate gamers and also entertainers so badly. They want to rip all that away from us and force us to bow to these people. But we're not going to stand for that. No, we're not. So I call upon everybody else and we're seeing a large shift in the in the cultural war and everything in the right direction we need to push these people out of our entertainment and sooner than expected what do you guys think though comment below your thoughts i'm animate night 1992 i love you all stay tuned for more content in the near future